Okay, so when 12 grams of hydrogen react with oxygen, how many grams of water are produced? The first thing that I did here is write down the amount of grams that I'm given. So 12 grams of hydrogen is what I'm gonna start with. 12 grams of hydrogen, and I'm gonna to wanna to multiply this by the molar mass of hydrogen. So I'm gonna put grams of hydrogen on the bottom. So I know that according to my periodic table, hydrogen here has a mass of 1.0079. So I'm gonna put the mass in the bottom, uh, 1.0 grams of hydrogen over one mole of hydrogen. This is gonna get me uh, moles of hydrogen. Once I have moles of hydrogen, I'm going to try to get myself two grams of water. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 1 is 12. So I get 12 grams or uh, excuse me, we're going to get these grams to cancel out here. Grams H and grams H are going to be canceled and we're going to be left with moles of hydrogen. So this answer is now going to be 12 moles of hydrogen. Now I'm going to take my 12 moles of hydrogen and I'm going to multiply it by the molar ratio in my equation here to the left. So I can see my equation. I have uh, two moles of H2 plus one mole of O2 is going to react to form two moles of H2O. So I'm going to create a ratio here uh, above and below this fraction bar using the coefficients, which are these large numbers in front of my equation. So we're gonna be looking at this two, if there was a one here and a two here. So because I have 12 moles of hydrogen on the top here in my uh, fraction, I'm gonna put my moles of hydrogen on the bottom so that they can cancel out. So this is gonna be moles of hydrogen here on the bottom. And I can see that I have a two here for my moles of hydrogen in my equation. So this is gonna be a two. And then I'm gonna see that I have two for my moles of H2O. So I'm gonna put the two on the top here for moles of H2O. And then I'm just gonna do some simple multiplication. 12 times two is 24, 24 divided by two is 12. So this is gonna wind up being 12 again, but it's not the same exactly as what I started with because as you can see here, once again, the moles of H are gonna cancel and the moles of H are gonna cancel and I'm gonna be left with moles of H2O. So this is gonna be an answer in moles of H2O. Okay. And now I'm gonna take my moles of H2O and I'm gonna use my molar mass of water to finally get me to the grams, which is what I wanted, grams of water produced. So I'm going to take my 12 moles of H2O and I'm gonna multiply this by the molar mass of H2O. So the way I'm gonna find the molar mass of H2O is I'm gonna go here. I have hydrogen is one. And then if I look on here, oxygen is 15.99, so I'm gonna round that to 16. So let's go back to this board and let's write down some interesting facts that we're gonna need. We're gonna say that hydrogen is equal to one gram, and we're gonna say oxygen is equal to 16 grams. And we know that H2O is gonna have two hydrogens, so this is gonna be times two equals two, and one oxygen, so this is just gonna be times one, so this is just gonna be equal to 16. So we're gonna add both of these up to get the molar mass, and we're gonna get 16 plus two is 18. 
and this is going to be 18 grams per mole. Now all I need to do is put my moles in the bottom because my moles are here to start and put my 18 in the top. So I'm gonna put 18 grams here and I'm gonna put one mole here in the bottom. So 12 times 18 divided by one is gonna get us our final answer. So let's calculate this. And 12 times 18, it's gonna get me 216. So my ultimate mass is gonna be 216 grams of H2O.